Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to, to use the new Intune repository to deploy VLC Media Player. So we're going to log into our Intune console and we're going to click on apps, all apps, and then add an app. And in this drop down, we're going to click on the Microsoft Store app new experience. From there, we're going to click select down at the bottom. We're going to click on this blue hyperlink right here that says search the Microsoft Store app new. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to type in VLC and we're going to press the enter key to search. Now the specific one that we're going to want is the one that says the Win32 application. So this new repository allows you to search for applications and you're going to see the UWP and Win32 applications oftentimes side by side. Now not every application is available in the repo yet, but a few of the applications that a lot of our educational institutions use today are readily available. So what's really awesome about this is this saves you the repackaging steps that you'd have to traditionally do to get the application deployed through Intune. So I'm gonna choose the Win32 application and select down at the bottom. And as we can see here, it filled in a lot of the information for us. So on my website, I have the rest of the information to fill out in here. So please feel free to utilize that if you'd like to, including access to a logo file that you can upload or download and then upload into your Intune environment. I'm gonna also show you really quick the um, logo file that I've already pre-curated. I don't own any of the logo files, I just make this easily available to our educational customers to make the deployment easier. So now that we've filled out our basic information for VLC Media Player, and it's done a lot of the steps for us, we're gonna click that next button. And as you can see, a lot of the traditional steps that we'd have to go through before, where we're filling out the program parameters, the detection method, you know, all of that stuff is already done and pre-curated for us. So now all we have to do is just deploy this to a group. And I'm going to deploy this to a test group, just so you can see. And as you can see, we have all of our traditional notification options. So we're gonna hide them and device time zone in this case. Um, I usually, VLC is made available. Like say, for example, you wanna make it available in the company portal rather than force installing it. You can make it available here and that logo file that I've provided will make it easier to use the application because it'll make it square so it's, it looks nice in your company portal. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and go to next and then create. Now, I've already got the VLC app in here, so I want you to see what it looks like after it's been deployed. Come in here to VLC, go to properties, and as you can see, all the information here, and I've made it available to all users, and here you can see it's been deployed. So thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate you working with me on this and hope this helps, this helps all of our educational institutions. Thanks and have a great day.